This is our new MPU Portable Integrated Tester. You can see it has the laser source port, power meter port, VFL port, and the optical power meter port. And this is the microscope. Now we'll show you how to do each step. You can see the display. This display it has nine functions. This is a poetry and a loss tester. This is the power meter tester. This both loss and poetry is the same as this one. This is MPU laser source. This is the inspection, fiber inspection. This is the VFL, this part. This is power meter, yeah, power meter and power meter. It's set up. Okay, now let's show first one, how to test the poly polarity of the MPU patch cut. Now you can see, it is the two MPU patch cut. Because here, you can see here inside, it has the pin. Has the pin inside, it's a male adapter port. So you have to connect the male and this one, male to the two part to test the polarity of this patch cut. And then I will connect the two patch cut together. You can see? First, I use this direction, the male part, the female part, and connecting by this pin. You can see here, we can press test. Test. You can see this is the polarity. One to one, two to two, three to three, till twelve to twelve. And this is the wavelength, and the polar polarity is A. Okay, now you can see if I change this and just turn the side and do the uh, polarity testing again, you can see different. You can see now it changed 1 to 12, 2 to 11, till 12 to 1, and now the polarity is B. So this tester can itself to identify the polarity of this patch card is A, B, C, or uh, others. Okay, and then you can see it's set up. This is a fiber count, you can choose it. Normally, the software is set to 12 fibers. And there's a polarity type, it can be user, or C, B, A, it, you can change it. And other size settings, yeah. So now that I show you, the machine can itself identify the polarity of this patch cut, A or B. Yeah. Okay, let's go to next step. Uh, this is the same, just do the test, yeah. So this function just show you the polarity of this. It's very easy. If you change it, you will see the difference. Yeah. You can see again, it changed. One, two, three, four, the same limit. But if I change it, yeah, it changed the uh, changed the spins. So for this function, polarity is just a test of the polarity. But for the loss, it just a test of the loss for each channel. So the max loss is 14. This is the data. So this one and this one is the same function as this one. Okay, next let's test the fiber <coughs> MPU fiber inspector. That's the let's to see the interface of this side. Okay, let's do the next step. Here you can see this is the microscope and uh, with this USB. Here. It, it has a USB to connect to the USB with this machine, and now the tester is worked as a display. And now we will show you the interface of this one. Here you can see it has air, it has laser signals, and it has the slot, and just match this part and push it, and press this button. Here you can see this is the interface. Here this one, it is changing the distance of the magnifier. You can see if I change it, if I switch this the clearance of the display is changing. So you just by moving this switch to make it the most clear pictures. And these two buttons is used to change the, change to see other channels. You see MPU is 12 channels. You can just change it to, to, to see the second one. Yeah. And for this, you can change the position of the display left to right. And for this, you can change the, to change it to another channels. They are totally 12 channels, so you can see the channel is not really at all. And this one, yeah, we have to change it, it can change to different channels just by use this. Yeah, just move it very slowly. You can see each one very clearly. Yes, like this. Just, you can see totally 12 channels. And then you can change it to adjust the position of this uh, 
pictures up on the monitor. Okay, that's all for the display uh, uh, for the microscope. Next, uh, we will see the VFL channel function, VFL here. Yeah, you can see this is the universal 2.5 millimeter adapters. It can connect with this SC. I'll show you. First, I just connect connection is here. Yeah, and uh, I press the VF function. And you can see, I press CW. You can see the, the signal here. Here, or you can see here, it has a laser outside. And you can press one hertz and two hertz. You can see the different uh, lighting uh, frequency, one hertz and two hertz. And this is CW, yeah. This one not a, uh, not a, uh, Brilliant. This two, it will have the flash. Yeah, one or two, it has flash. And CW, it is a continuous lighting. And this one is off. So this one is very easy. The VF function is very easy. It has this, uh, it has this part. Yeah. And here, here it also has a power meter function. So here I don't have the power to test. I just tell you this function. It can test the power meter of this. Bubble channel and the max testing lens testing uh, power is uh, 26 dBm. Okay, this is the chargeable part. Okay, now that's all for this insertion loss and internal loss test.